Preparations are underway for China's next mission to the moon. It's hoped the spacecraft will reach the far side of the moon and return dust and rocks to Earth. Joining us live is Fred Watson. He's Australia's astronomer at large. Fred, good to see you. Do we know much about the far side of the moon? Why are the Chinese setting their sights there? Well, partly because uh, it's an area of great interest. It's in the southern polar regions of the lunar surface. Uh, but the far side, yes, uh, always hidden from us here on Earth. It's been well explored by orbiting spacecraft around the moon uh, and is very, very different from the near side. Geologically, it's quite different. So to put a spacecraft on the far side of the moon, uh, actually in perhaps the oldest impact basin uh, in the solar system, a place called the South Pole Aitken Basin, formed by uh, an asteroid collision in the early history of the solar system, to put a spacecraft there and then take geological samples uh, from the rock and bring them back to Earth is uh, every lunar scientist's uh, dream, uh, dream project, I think. Fred, I see the Chinese Academy of Sciences has actually released what is being called the highest resolution geological map of the moon that we've seen yet features more than 12,000 craters, plenty of different rock types too. We know there's always a lot of interest, of course, in exactly what minerals are there from governments, not to mention big mining companies around the world. This is quite the project. Indeed it is, uh, it, and it's, uh, you know, visually very beautiful as well. It's at a scale of one to two and a half million, which is the highest scale yet of any map of the moon. Uh, it uses data from the Chang'e 1 mission, which was an orbiting spacecraft uh, launched by the, the Chinese Space uh, Administration, uh, coupled with uh, Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Images, which is a NASA spacecraft. Uh, and together, they've, uh, over 10 years, 100 Chinese scientists have poured over these data to put together this really elegant and very, very useful geological map of the moon. So looking at this project that China's working on now, this mission to send an unmanned spacecraft to the moon, are the Chinese then planning to land people on the moon anytime soon? Yes, within a few, well, within certainly within a decade, the 2030s are the time that the Chinese uh, National Space Administration are discussing uh, as to when they will send their Taikonauts to the lunar surface. Uh, but they still have a fairly ambitious program of uncrewed spacecraft, of which Chang'e 6, which we expect to launch uh, sort of 7.30 ish our time on Friday evening. Uh, that spacecraft, uh, along with its successors, Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8 uh, will, we hope, pave the way for a more um, uh, sort of human uh, orientated view of exploring the moon by the China National Space Agency. So, yes, they definitely have their sights on the moon. And Fred, more broadly, just how advanced is China's space program? Have they really closed the gap now, do you think, on the countries that were really the traditional front runners? I'm thinking the US and, and Russia. Uh, I, I think it's fair to say they have. Um, over the last few years, uh, they've demonstrated really quite extraordinary capabilities in space, including their own space station, which uh, has a crew of three uh, and uh, sort of doesn't rival the International Space Station in size because it's much smaller, uh, but still has the, you know, the, the, the necessary components uh, that, that will keep astronauts uh, alive and, and well in space. Uh, but even this mission that's forthcoming, the Chang'e 6, mission shows great ambition because it's going to do something that no other country has done. It will land a spacecraft on the far side of the moon. The Chinese have already done that with Chang'e 4, uh, but then it will bring back samples of material from the far side of the moon. And as I said, it's a very interesting place geologically. We might find some evidence of the moon's uh, inner, inner mantle, the layer underneath the crust that were excavated by that impact back in the early days of the solar system. So really very ambitious science and being done really quite capably as far as we can tell.